Yo, what's up guys? Brapper Dan in the house. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to ride a motorcycle for 101 extreme beginners. You don't know how to ride a motorcycle, but you're thinking about getting one. Uh, also, I apologize for my voice and my sniffling because I'm super sick right now. So one of the first things you're going to have to wrap your head around is the clutch. The best way to understand the clutch is when you pull this lever in, it disconnects the power from the engine to the tire. So think of when you push the clutch in, it's disconnecting. So no more power is going to the tire. So what you're going to do is pull on the clutch, hold it in, put the bike in first gear. You're going to click down for first gear. And then what we're going to do is just start letting this clutch out slow. See the tire starting to move? Slow. Look at the bike's moving. Pull on the clutch, the bike will stop. You're disconnecting the power. If you have a heavy bike, you can have someone help you with this to hold it up, make sure it doesn't get out of control. But if anything goes wrong, you're not on here. You're not going to get hurt, right? So you're going to let the clutch out a little bit. Bike's going to roll forward. You're going to pull the clutch in. But you notice when you pull the clutch in, the bike still rolls. Why is that? Because we're not pressing the brake. On the other handlebar, you have the front brake. So now we're going to give it no gas. We're going to let the bike go forward. We're going to pull in the clutch, and then we're going to ease on the brake. That's how you bring the bike to a stop, all right? Forward, pull the clutch in, brake, bike stops. Now you're gonna do that as long as you need to do to get comfortable um, where you can get the feel for how the clutch grabs. And remember, you don't have to give it really any gas to get the motorcycle moving. So I don't know why people usually say, give it a little gas. I mean, if you let the clutch out too fast, like this, like if you try this and you go, oh, let me let the clutch out slow and it stalls, you let it out too fast. All right, you might have to try it again. Let me let the clutch out slow. Boom, it might stall again. You're letting the clutch out too fast. So you have to feel it, right? You start letting it out, the bike will start moving. You can't just let it all the way out now. You gotta feather it out. All right, keep practicing that. That's the way to start. When you feel like you have the hang of that, now you can get on the bike and you can do the same thing. I'm giving it no gas. Let the clutch out. Pull the clutch in. Bike rolls to a stop. Let the clutch out. Bike starts to roll. Pull the clutch in. Brake. You also have a rear brake down here in your right foot. So you're going to do the same thing with the rear brake. You're going to let the clutch out. Pull the clutch in. Brake. All right. So that's how you're going to get started when it comes to riding a motorcycle. You're going to start in a parking lot or a driveway or anywhere that you can just move the bike back and forth. All right. Now, if you go to a parking lot, you can ride the bike in circles. You're going to stay in first gear. You're just going to practice riding for a few feet, pulling in the clutch, pressing the brakes. And really you want to start with the back brake. All right, you want to start with your foot brake on the right side. So that's how you're going to begin. You're going to let out the clutch, roll, pull in the clutch, back brake. When you start getting the hang of that, you're going to start doing the front and back brake at the same time. You don't want to give it too much front brake because if you lock up the front brake, you're going to fall down. So what are we going to do now? We're going to learn how to shift the bike. Let the clutch out slow. Give it a little gas. Come to a stop. So you need to obviously pull in the clutch. Pull in the clutch, shift up. Click up one time to second gear. Let off the throttle, pull in the clutch, click up. Alright, the RPMs are rising. Let off the throttle, pull in the clutch, click up again. And you're just going to keep doing this. See, we're at a good cruising. You kind of listen to the RPMs of the bike. If you have a tachometer, even better. But I'm, I recommend learning how to gauge your RPMs based off the sound of the engine. When the RPMs start getting high, shift up. The RPMs start getting too low, shift down. Right? Because you don't want to be in too high of a gear for how fast you're going, right? So right now we're in sixth gear. And I'm going to go real slow. So now we're down to 30 miles an hour. I'm going to give it gas. This is full throttle. It doesn't want to accelerate. 
doesn't want to accelerate because we're going in a too high of a gear for how fast we're going. Let's go down even slower. Six gear, full throttle. Right? We're in too high of a gear. So as you slow down, you need to pull in the clutch, click down, click down. Here the RPMs rise. Every time you click down, the RPMs will rise. Now it will accelerate a lot faster. All right, so as you come up to a stop sign, we're gonna pull in the clutch, shift down. Till, all the way till we're in first gear. notice as I'm pulling in the clutch I'm letting off the throttle you want to take the load off the engine or off the transmission before you take the clutch off otherwise I mean you don't have to let off the throttle but it'll sound like this if you don't you don't want to do that that's putting wear and tear on your clutch you know, but it just it depends on the type of motorcycle you have. Some motorcycles can handle that. If you're on a crotch rocket, you could shift like that. If you really want to beat on it. This uh, bike in particular does not like that. The clutch slips. You can hear the clutch slipping. You're out on the road for the first time and you need to slow down and take a turn or slow down and come to a stop. What do I suggest you do? This is what I suggest you do. We have a left-hand turn coming up. Put on your directional, pull in the clutch, shift down. Slowly let out the clutch. So, let's say we're cruising in fourth, fifth gear, something like that, and we want to slow down, right? You don't want to pull in the clutch, click down, and then let the clutch out fast. Pull the clutch, hear how it jerks, see how it jerks the bike? It wants to lock the tire up. Right? So, downshifting and upshifting, you're gonna do that smooth. Right? We're gonna downshift here in a minute. So I'm gonna pull in the clutch, shift down, and then I'm gonna let the clutch out smooth to gradually reintroduce the power to the rear wheel. Yeah, we're not waiting for this train. guys this is so much freaking fun it's nothing to be afraid of it's very it's fairly simple you click down to go slower you click up to go faster you know and even you can like you could put pull in your clutch click down a couple gears I just clicked down two gears all right I could click down another one I don't even keep track of what gear I'm in honestly I'm not sitting here counting this is something you learn based on speed and RPM sound. So we're gonna go all the way up to six gear here, right? I'm in six gear, cruising 50 miles an hour. We have a stop sign coming up. And uh, we need, we're gonna need to slow down and stop, obviously. I mean, one thing we could do is pull in the clutch and roll to a stop and apply the brake and not shift down at all. And then do all the downshifting once we're stopped. So I'll show you what that's like. So right now we're gonna pull in the clutch, start applying the brake. All right, we're not shifting at all. We're still in sixth gear. We're still in sixth gear. We're gonna put our blinker on, still holding in the clutch and holding the brake. Look at this, we're stopped. Now we need to shift down six times in the first gear. See, it depends on the bike. This bike doesn't like that, but. This bike doesn't like to go into first gear at a stop like that. Um, so I know it depends on your motorcycle, honestly. But I'm going to show you the way that I typically do it on a daily basis. I'm going to turn off our blinker. So we're in sixth gear again. We're cruising up to a stop sign, right? I'm going to pull the clutch in. I'm going to shift down three times. I'm going to let the clutch out slow. So I just downshifted three gears with one clutch hold. 
I'm going to shift down two more times. But it honestly doesn't matter if I'm in first or second when I come to a stop, it doesn't matter. Once you're stopped, <coughs> you click your foot down to make sure you're in first. If you're not, you're going to be. You know, that's just the thing you get in the habit of is just holding in the clutch and pushing down, click, click, click to make sure you're in first gear when you go to start. And a lot of motorcycles can start in second gear or third gear too. You don't necessarily have to be in first gear to start, but it's going to require a little bit more throttle to, uh, to not stall the bike. But there's no real hard and fast rules. I mean, you can do, there's a lot of variation within these things. And uh, you just kind of get the feel for it. And sometimes you mess up a little bit, but it's not usually a big deal. You know, as long as you're not shifting down to second gear at 50 miles an hour. Now, if I pull in the clutch right now and I downshift four times and let the clutch out real fast, I'm going to wipe out because the tire is going to lock up. The tire's gonna try to go 15 miles an hour while we're going 50. See, downshift, downshift, downshift. All right, we're gonna talk about cornering. The weird thing about a motorcycle is you can't turn the handlebars in the direction that you wanna turn, like a bicycle. You have to do what's called counter steering. Counter steering means you turn the bars in the opposite direction you want to turn while leaning. Okay? So I'm going to try to turn the bars to the right right now, and you're going to see my motorcycle is going to go left. It'll do the opposite. Ready? We're going to turn to the right. That's me turning the handlebars to the right. You see the motorcycle go left? Just like a bicycle, you know? You can't just turn the handlebars. Now I'm going to turn the handlebars to the left. Do you see how quickly the bike swerves to the right? This can be a big problem because if there's an obstacle coming up and you get freaked out and you try to jerk the bars away from the obstacle, what it's gonna do is steer you directly into the thing you're trying to avoid. <coughs> so you have to learn proper counter steering. Proper counter steering is exactly what I said, turning the bars the opposite way. But you're not really gonna be turning them like this, all right? I'm going to kind of demonstrate for you what I mean. And what you're just going to be doing is applying pressure. All right, so we're taking a right-hand corner. So we're going to be applying some forward pressure to the right bar, basically turning the wheel a little bit to the left. So I'm pushing pressure on my right bar, pushing it forward just a little bit. You know, same thing with this. This is just me applying pressure to each side. back to the driveway and kind of demonstrate this at slow speeds for you so you can understand it a little better I'm gonna start going right and then I'm gonna apply some pressure to the right handlebar forward right that's gonna turn the wheel to the left turn the bars to the left that's not gonna make me turn left that's gonna make me turn right so you're doing the opposite so what's happening is you're pushing this forward your tire is turning this way but it has to do with something with the physics of the surface area when you turn the wheel this way it allows the bike to lean this way and it turns right so I'm gonna do that at slow speed for you ready apply pressure we're gonna do it the opposite way okay I know it's a really weird concept but it does not feel unnatural when you start riding. Some people do this instinctually and don't even realize that they're doing it. Um, so the bars need to turn this way to go right. The bars need to turn this way to go left. You can do that by applying forward pressure, as I said, or you can do that by applying, well, let me get this in neutral. Or you could do it the opposite way. You can pull back on this handlebar and it will do the same thing. And then as you do that, the bike is going to start leaning this way. And you kind of want to lean with it. Not a lot. Everything we're talking about is very gradual, very subtle. <coughs> now when we're going around little corners, you know, you have to lean the bike. You don't necessarily need to turn the bars to turn. You can turn actually just by leaning. I can turn the bike 
without even having my hands on the handlebars. So you're kind of using a combination of these things, you know? It depends how you're applying your weight to the foot pegs and the seat. If you shift your weight to one side, the bike's gonna turn. The bike's gonna lean. All right, we're gonna stop on an uphill here. Thing that scares a lot of people. We're coming up to it, so I'm gonna pull in the clutch and downshift a few times. Uh, that was too many times. But that's okay, you're gonna make that mistake. All right? And then we're gonna put our blinker on. We're pulling the clutch, hit the brake, downshift to first. We're gonna keep our foot on our back brake. on your back brake it's gonna keep the bike from rolling backwards now you could do this with the front brake or the back brake uh, driver's ed manual says to use the rear brake I'm not sure why they prefer that because I think it's more of a situational thing sometimes I like to use the front brake to hold the bike sometimes I like to use the rear brake but basically you know you come to a stop Like this, come to full stop, shift into first gear. Now I'm pushing down on that rear brake. Let's see, sorry, the blinker. I'm pushing down on that rear brake. So if we're on a hill, we're not falling backwards. And if we're on a real steep hill and we are rolling, we can apply a little front brake too. Especially, no, I'm holding in the clutch. You can put it in a neutral and let off the clutch. But now you're not going to go anywhere. This bike doesn't want to move. So remember, if you need to stop on an uphill, or even a downhill for that matter, if you have a, a stoplight at the bottom of a steep hill, you're going to have to apply brakes when you come to a stop and hold those brakes on to keep yourself from going forward. Because if you just put the bike in neutral, you're going to roll. And if you have the bike in gear, you're going to have to hold that clutch in, which basically means you're in neutral and you're going to roll. So anytime the motorcycle is stopped and you're not on a flat surface, you're going to have to apply front and rear brakes, uh, whatever feels more appropriate to the situation. But like I said, driver's manual says rear. Now, I mean, there's a lot of other intricacies to ride in a motorcycle, but I think most of those just come with experience. Uh, those are the main points, you know, just learn how to start off safely. Learn how to turn the motorcycle, you know, just push the bars a little, give a little pressure on each side of the handlebar, and you'll watch the bike turn. You can lean a little bit, just get in the habit of doing that. You can do this in a parking lot, you know, you can swerve back and forth, kind of get the feel for how to turn the bike. I'd, I would uh, uh, recommend starting all of this off in a parking lot. Start in first gear, then move up to second gear pretty much practice all these uh, maneuvers and stuff in second gear practice your turning maybe set up some cones do some swerving you know learn to feel comfortable on this thing before you get out there with cars because cars are gonna freak you out you're gonna want to practice uh, if you don't feel comfortable learning this on your own or with a friend I mean you could take a class too you know they have classes where they teach you how to ride but I don't think that's necessary. I think if you have a motorcycle and you have a friend that knows how to ride, um, go to a parking lot, apply some of these principles, get your permit first, obviously pass that written test, and uh, you'll be good, you know? All you gotta do is take off, turn, clutch, brake. Not much to it. It can definitely be intimidating at first, Man, it is cold today. I should have wore a hoodie.